Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us see how to make use of at the rate of JSON ignore and at the rate of JSON ignore properties. Let us say, for example, I want the section field should be ignored from the serialization as well as the deserialization aspects, which means if someone sends a request with section field in it, it should be ignored and the section field value should not go out of the APA. This section field is purely used internally within APA for different implementations and manipulations. If there is a field in your APA, think of that scenario. And if you have a field like that, you can ignore that field from serialization and deserialization with the help of at the rate of JSON ignore annotation. And let us say if there are multiple fields like this, because in an ideal case, your model must be comprising of at least 20 to 25 variables and fields on it. And you can't keep on adding at the rate of JSON ignore to all the fields. That might look a little redundant. For that, JSON annotation has given you a way to handle that. That is JSON ignore properties. With the help of JSON ignore properties, you can ignore multiple fields. I have already ignored section here and I'm going to ignore major and let us say I want to ignore response text. So I'm going to ignore three fields in my student object. So if someone sends a value for these three fields in the request, the value will be made as null. And if you're setting up a value inside your APA for these three fields, these fields will not go out in the response. So let us quickly run this example and let us try to understand the behavior. The server is up and running and let's try to go to our postman and let us try to fire our request. So let me remove this. All right. So let us click on send. And we are here at the debug point. All right, you could see here major, even though the major field was present in the request, it is null. The section field is null. The response text is something that you manipulated or used inside the APA. But this response text, when it goes out, it should not go with the value response text. So let us try to resume the debugging and let's go to our postman. All right. You could see here, right, in our postman, the major field has been ignored, the section field has been ignored, and even though in our APA, we have set the value of response text, it has been ignored in the response because we have added it to the other rate of JSON ignore properties. So this is another efficient way of handling your variables and fields for serialization and deserialization using JSON annotations. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.